Arsenal are close to finalizing terms over their £105 million deal for West Ham's Declan Rice, with the guaranteed portion of the fee expected to be paid in three installments over 24 months. Instead of making a lump sum payment, Arsenal are taking a more strategic approach in this high-stakes negotiation, as tends to happen with deals this large. West Ham are selling the midfielder for £100 million plus £5 million in add-ons and the transfer is on the verge of completion. Arsenal wanted to spread the cost of the guaranteed payment over five years but have been forced to bring the number of installments down in order to secure Mikel Arteta's top summer target. Talks over the nature of the add-ons are continuing but Rice is expected to undergo a medical and join Arsenal this week. Keeping the payment structure on a tight schedule will help West Ham's financial position. They were angling for the £100 million to be paid by the end of 2024 but it is understood that a compromise has been reached on the summer of 2025 as the date for the final payment. West Ham were placed on UEFA's financial fair play watchlist last September. Sources indicate that Rice is eager to join the Arsenal ranks. This seems to be an integral factor in the ongoing negotiations, with Raya's aspiration to play at the Emirates potentially simplifying the deal-making process. Having voiced his desire to compete at the highest level and participate in Champions League football, Rice views Arsenal as a platform that can help him realize his career objectives. Manchester City had targeted Rice after losing Ilkay Gundogan to Barcelona and had a £90 million bid for the West Ham captain rejected last week. City decided to walk away after Arsenal, who had already seen two bids turned down, decided to go over £100 million for the 24-year-old. The champions were unwilling to get into a bidding war with Arsenal and felt that West Ham's demands, particularly around the payment structure, were too high. Arsenal are spending heavily as they prepare for another title challenge and have already bought the Germany attacker Kai Havertz from Chelsea for a fee rising to £65 million. They are close to completing a deal for the Ajax defender Jurian Timber for £40 million and are expected to make space for Rice in midfield by selling Granit Xhaka and Thomas Partey. Shaka is likely to join Bayer Leverkusen while Partey has interest from Juventus and clubs in the Saudi Pro League. Arsenal could raise further funds by selling the USA striker Fuller and Balogun and the Portuguese left-back Nuno Tavares. While Rice was open to joining City, Arsenal were always his favoured choice. The England international admires Arteta's football and is believed to have agreed terms on a long-term deal already. Arteta has gone to great lengths to woo Rice and believes that his physicality and leadership will give Arsenal a better chance of ending City's dominance of the Premier League. Arsenal could bring in another midfielder and are interested in Romeo Lavia, who is valued by Southampton at £45 million. Chelsea, Liverpool and Manchester United are also interested in the 19-year-old. Declan Rice preferred his shirt numbers and superstitious on it. Rice has previously expressed his desire to retain the number 41 shirt, should he part ways with West Ham. To be honest with you, I've been having this conversation with my dad, regardless of what happens in my career, I think I might stay with the 41, he shared with Gary Neville on the overlap. I don't know, I just think Rice 41 has a nice ring to it, obviously, I've grown up playing in it. I'm a bit superstitious with things like that, I don't know if I change to a new number it would hamper my performances, I don't know I just think sometimes about a couple things like that. No player from the Arsenal first team has ever worn the number 41.